You scored a very quick win today from the white side of the Brayer. Uh, could you tell us something about the opening phase because it was sort of main line theory? Yeah, this what I played uh, is all known and uh, I think my opponent knew until some point but after that he was uh, just making the moves over the board. Um, I got this uh, usual structure with uh, b3, d5, c4 and after this the main problem for black is that the bishop on b7 uh, uh, is not a good piece and somehow he has to try and gain some counterplay but which he never managed in the game. I think your move bishop into b6 was a little bit unusual but can you explain your thought process behind that move? Yeah, I think at that point I was already very comfortable. Uh, his move h5 was very bad because now I always have knight g5 or queen g5 such ideas and uh, I played this bishop b3 hitting on f7 and somehow he just thought he can play knight b6, knight c4 and neutralize it but he missed this idea of bishop b6, queen b6, queen g5 because you can spot this idea with queen d2 and uh, if there was no bishop on e3 you can directly go queen g5 but he missed this intermezzo and uh, after that it was just winning. So after queen g5 does he have any defenses? He played d5 but I think that is already no, losing. No, I mean he could play bishop g7, queen g6, d5 but I can either play queen g5 or queen f5 and then I just collect all the pawns slowly. It's just uh, technically winning. Uh, so, I think today was a very comfortable victory against a 2500 player, usually that's not very easy. Yeah, usually it's uh, not so easy, so I thank my lucky stars today. <laughs> and uh, what about the match? Right now your match is over, uh, your game is over, three more games are going on. What do you think is going on in those games? Uh, actually, initially I was not sure. Uh, how the match is going to go because Adiban uh, was under slight pressure and uh, the game of Hari Krishna was equal since uh, the beginning. So, was, and Anand, uh, he had some advantage but I don't know how much it is. But uh, right now I think the th things are better because uh, Adiban is starting to take over slowly. Uh, but it's still equal but still he's on the better side of equal right now. I guess it will be 3-1 or something like this. Hard to predict, but I think we are still uh, very comfortable. We are not worse on any board, so that's a good sign. Well, one question which we have to ask you is that you are right now playing a lot of different openings, but at the same time you have a very good hold over many of the lines. How do you keep yourself updated with this hum humongous theory? How do you know your lines so well? I think I have to clear the misconception which you have that I play a lot of stuff, but actually well, I don't. Well, today I mean, you played e4, uh, often you play d4, c4, knight f3. I mean, the repertoire is widening. I think it's uh, the need of the, like, I mean, all the top players, they are expanding. Even Levon, if you see now, he's he was only a d4, knight f3, c4 player, but he's exclusively playing e4 nowadays. So, at the top level, you have to expand, and I'm trying to do it slowly, and gradually now it's building up. My reporter has feeling more complete as of now. Do you think trying out new uh, openings gives you different positions and improves your level of play? Yeah, because if you play the same positions after a while, even if you know them well, it gets a bit tedious. So it's nice to uh, mix it up sometimes and it gives you a fresh, uh, fresh energy to play over the board because the position is new and you're thinking over the board and yeah, it's kind of inspiring. Baku 2016 was your debut in the Olympiad. This is your second time uh, and the biggest change is Anand playing in the team. So, how, how is it different in the hotel or in the rooms and while preparation? What is the change? Well, I'm getting to know uh, more of uh, him. Uh, how by We interact a lot and he's being really nice. And most forward, I'm looking to at least learn from him in the 11 days. Uh, his perspective on chess and other things and preparation and everything. So, uh, it's it's a nice blessing that we can uh, hang out with such a legend and uh, uh, learn from him over the next uh, few days. Well, with it, uh, we wish you all the best for the remaining games and good luck for the nine rounds. Thank you.